hand, but your step side all the way across. Oh, look, right? 
Some but they look. In the savannah, now, does anybody blend? know what animals live out on the savannah? Lions. Tigers. No. Cheetahs, lions, giraffes. Cheetahs. Zebras. Antelope. Elephants. Antelope. This really cool tree on the right side. Anybody know what its name is? The baobab. baobab. What's the other name? Tree of life. Looks like it's upside down. The upside down tree. And there's a third name after an Afrikaans folklore called the tree of life. I learned that the other day. I thought that was interesting. Well, look at that. Isn't that a coincidence that we have one of those? I think only this from us here. Conserve the water in the bodies. But here we are, the beautiful Serengeti grasslands. My second favorite view on the entire reserve itself. So hundreds of miles long, miles long, home to thousands of different animals, including these ones coming up here. Now these are white bearded wildebeest. Oh. oh. Wildebeest. Now, wildebeest. the wildebeest, Look. they are part of the largest migration across Africa. So up to a, over a million of these guys, up to a million and a half of them follow these seasonal rains. So giant blur of gray across Africa. That is kind of why the Serengeti is also have the nickname of the superhighway. There's a lot of different things, usually have multiple names, and there we go. You guys know what migrating is, right? Any little ones not know what migrating is? Do you know what migrating is? Okay. Important to know. Moving from one place to another. away from colder or just following rains in general. That provides the grass, which is a big food source for a lot of different animals. They act kind of like the lawnmowers altogether. Now, a lot of the animals are never in the same spot twice because of those migrations. But you might want to look on your left. So down below, we're going to see a little bit more of them up ahead. These are called African wild dogs. Now they are cute little ones. Oh, kind of behind by that bush there. They're cute, but they're not too cuddly. They are actually considered the most successful hunters out here on the savannah. So over a cheetah, a lion, and a hyena. They have very, very high stamina, which allows them to chase down their prey until it drops from physical exhaustion. Yay. So African wild dogs, painted dogs, cute, adorable, not a house pet at all in any way, shape, or form. Now, if you guys look to your left, there's some very tiny antelopes ah, that I think you, you can see over the tall grass here. Uh, now, they are called springbok. They only grow to be around three feet tall, but that's as big as they get. So, they are considered one of the top ten fastest animals here on Earth. So, three feet tall, 100 pounds, they can run up to about 50 to 60 miles per hour. So, just under the speed of a cheetah itself. Two miles. So, very, very tall. Not the ones to be this with in general. Now, as we continue, keep your eyes peeled. Those pumps are very, very low. Top speeds, 8 miles per hour. Let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore. Right it's kind of see. It's kind of cool to see the uh, little beast kind of roaming through the grass here on the right side. Anybody want to see them once more? They're there. 
They're also called new, so G N U. It's a little grunting noise they make. So new, new. It's kinda like a little bit of new. It's a new moon, huh? Um kind of the same But as we head around the corners here, keep your eyes peeled. You know what they're made up of? Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Who said that? Oh. What? Oh. Dirt, saliva, and dung. So the three materials, they bake in the sun and they turn hard as a rock. So there's a lot of them. There's a lot of taller ones. These are a little bit worn down. Or actually, they make, they're probably just growing. Um, the elephants like to wear them down. So they don't really weather, like, tear with the weather. But the elephants, they use them as a scratchy post. So they'll wear them down. Now, you're gonna wanna keep your eyes peeled for some draft. Left side, you guys? Oh, look at that, Blaine. Now, I'll kinda inch forward slowly to try to get different angles with the trees here. Now, the giraffe. They are the tallest land animals on Earth, as most of you know. So they're born at about six feet tall, 150 pounds. And they will continue to grow up to about 18 to 20 feet. So the huge animals, they're very big. Now, they only sleep for about 30 minutes a day, so very small now. They eat a lot otherwise. Uh, but what makes them so interesting is that because they are so tall, they actually have the highest blood pressure here in the animal kingdom. So they are actually able to, or in order to support that, their hearts weigh around 25 pounds and around two feet long. 25 pounds, two feet long. Very, very, very large hearts because they are very, very tall animal. Kind of makes sense though. I guess you could say. Um, while we are patiently waiting, I guess Giant. we can kind of tell you where we're heading. Um, our goal is to be heading into elephant country. So definitely you're going to want to keep your eyes out on what we might be able to find. But the water is very pretty. Enjoy. Not something you see every day, unless you live here. <laughs> I've never seen any of you before, so it's Now, don't see too many elephants just yet, but we are going to be heading into it, hopefully. But it does look like the road is closed here. And you do not break through a road closure sign. Right? Right. Thank you, Echo. Don't turn left. Don't go right. So into the into the drop off there. You don't want to go into the drop off. Don't go towards the drop off. Just keep driving. Just keep driving. Just keep driving. <laughs> um, now, yes, our goal is heading over one of the oldest bridges out here on the reserve, and hopefully it is still there. This is a plus sign. It's quite old. Built back 1971. We'll just take a nice little thumb. What? What could possibly go wrong? You know they say that in movies and then things go wrong. Ah! Directions. Step right, you lean left. I would not trust any of you with my life. But here we go. Top speeds, eight miles per hour. You're welcome. I'm such a fantastic driver. Same as well. Oh. But it does look like we have a lot of footprints here in the ground. A lot of tusk marks in the walls around us. Caused by the animals over there. Oh, there they are. Look. I tend to say he a lot, but that's just my default when talking about animals. 
Elephants, on the other hand, though, elephants themselves live in a very matriarchal society. So mostly females, if not adolescent males. And with that, the elephants have the second longest childhood in the world next to us as humans. So we have about 18 years, theirs is about 14. And the ends of their trunks, they have 100,000 muscles in their trunks. It had, looks like uh, you put your, your thumb and your pointer together, two little probes, two little finger-like um, pieces to them. Allows them to grip that, that hay, twigs, grass, things like that. Now, they also have the second longest childhood in the world next to us as humans. So we as humans, we have about 18 years. Theirs is about 14, and about 14. That is when the males walk from the very solid, very quick. There, look, Glenn. To the left of the trees that are there. Con. Yeah, up there, look. Lying down. So, fastest lane facing away from us. So, if you look at the rocks, the trees right behind it to the left of them. See it? So, fastest lane animals alive. They can run up to about 16 miles per hour. It takes them three seconds to get to that speed. So, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, bam, 60 miles per hour. And with that, you only hold that speed for about a quarter of a lap. So, wee. because it does expend a lot of energy in such a short period of time, they gotta be very careful. They're diurnal, unlike these guys. Nocturnal big cats. Lions. There he is, look. Resting his head on the rock up there, look. Those are called bot to bot. 
Now, the Montauk, they are an animal that is actually extinct out in the wild. A lot of people don't know about that. But back in the 20th century, there was only about 20 of them left. So less than the amount of people on the truck for its entire species. But locals were able to protect the little ones. And I've got to now get to see them here today. Yay, conservation. And the animals that are close on the right side also, they are also extinct down the line. They're called addicts. So A-D-D-A-X. Pretty animals. As you can see, one likes to put its horns into the tall brush, uh, make a crown out of its head. And on the right side, we have some zebra. The large brown animals. Or, mm -hmm, nope. Same vibe. Oh, they're very they are actually faster than a lion, a rhino, and a giraffe. Now, the zebra, they are as fast as those ostrich. They top out at about 40 miles per hour. So both animals, they may look docile, but they are quite fast and more than capable of defending themselves. An ostrich's kick is powerful enough to kill a human, while a zebra's hind legs are strong enough to break a lion's jaw. So they are more than capable of defending themselves. You just definitely don't want to be in their way. On the right side, that is my favorite animal on the entire reserve. It's called the scimitar horn horse. Scimitar horned oryx. It's very, very shy, very reclusive animal. Now, they are critically endangered. They're being pushed for those horns because of their name after the Middle East scimitar sword. Kind of makes sense a little bit there. But what makes them so fascinating to me is that they are very, very well adapted to dry environments. They're actually able to raise their own body temperatures up to about 115 degrees. So, 115 degrees. That allows them to actually conserve their waters in their bodies by not sweating up until they reach that temperature. And that's very handy when you live out in the desert, because you don't know when your next water source is going to be. So with that, they could go up to nine months without drinking any water at all. So they are quite interested in some animals. Now, it looks like we are heading into these waters here. But it does look like we shall be heading back to the water coast pretty big. So I'm sorry to say that the best safari ever is really coming to an end. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today. Hopefully you guys saw an animal or two you might have never seen before, you might have never heard about, and now you've seen heard about it, and now you can tell all your friends. And you know how to help save some elephants, right? Is that good? Which is why... Recycling our cell phones. Reduce, reuse, recycle. There's a few words that you've heard very, very much, or a lot of times, I guess you could say. But it's a lot easier to see what your small efforts are doing to have such a large impact on the world around us. So the more you know, the more you know. Tell your friends. And do come back. If you guys are staying till bar closing, I'm definitely suggest to come back.